how was it? Are you exhausted and tired? Or are you motivated and excited? I hope JA Inspire was an exciting day for you and you at least identified a couple of career options to consider. It's an important start, but what next? When you finish up with JA Inspire, the first thing that you probably should do is uh, take a moment, collect your thoughts, and put them down on paper. Uh, then what I would do is start to make a to-do list. Who did I meet? Uh, what was I impressed by? Organize my thoughts, and then start to make a deliberate uh, actions to contact those folks. You know, now it's really time to answer the calling. Now it's really time to develop the plan. It's time to put it into action. It's time to reach out to those professionals in that area and sector and start your plan. Come see us, come shadow with us, come volunteer with us. Um, we're excited to have you as future professionals, especially in the healthcare sector. And we can't wait to get you started on your next steps. I think of the conclusion of it to be able to reflect back and say, what did I like? What didn't I like? Where can I see myself? If I fast forward 50 years and I look back and say, boy, I'm really glad I did that, and it all starts here, then what were those things that you liked the best? And you don't have to pick just one. There can be multiple things that you're interested in, but try to, try to narrow that field. Something that you think is going to really work and really strikes a chord with your interest, your passion, and what you want to spend the, your life doing. Throughout this video series, we've been introduced to a variety of professionals who have lended their time and expertise to your future. We thought it would be fun to close by asking them two questions. What's the best advice someone gave you along the way? And what encouragement do you have for students starting out? The thing I try to tell people around here is, particularly with the new people, the difference between you and our most experienced person who's doing this job is they've already made a lot more mistakes than you have and they've learned from them. Don't be afraid to fail. It's not a bad thing. You just get stronger for the next time. I think another thing is um, always pro be proactive. Never wait for something to happen. Go and get it. When you start to set a goal in life, don't limit yourself is from the beginning. Just, just think of the world of opportunity to say anything's possible. And put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to take the risk and being willing to say yes. When you don't understand something, don't pretend that you understand it. Um, you know, privately, tactfully, you know, ask a question and pursue and persist patiently, pleasantly, uh, until you get the answer. It's, it's a team effort. Nobody is ever successful by themselves. Is everybody's success depends on other people. And whether that's your coworkers, your family, your friends, your support network, uh, that's really important. My fourth grade teacher said, good, better, best, never let it rest until good is better and better is best. And it sounded so incredibly corny at the time, but I will tell you I've lived my whole life that way. And it's amazing what's possible when you believe in yourself, even when you don't have any idea what you're doing. We are fortunate to have people around us who can help us get started. Check with your guidance counselors to see what career planning tools are available. There are lots of websites and resources to help you discover a career path to consider. It's important to use these resources and start looking for options that work for you. Remember, people don't become successful by accident. Most people who succeed start by doing the things we're talking about and then continue to learn, grow, and adjust their plan as their careers develop. Another great resource is people. People who can help you think through career options you might be considering. Take advantage of a career planner, an adult mentor, or school counselor who can help you reach all of your career goals. Our hope is that through this series, you have been both inspired and informed. Remember, it really is your career and your future. Take advantage of the opportunities we've learned. Make connections, continue to ask good questions, continue to learn, and be confident that you too can discover a career that can be both successful and fulfilling. I would say it's an exciting world to be part of right now, and um, it's because there's so much opportunity. Some of the things that we're gonna be working on haven't even been invented yet. 
one thing I can tell you about the world is while it is exciting, it is also um, up to you. And it's up to that person to seize it, to take advantage of it, to navigate through it, ask for help when they need it. It's, you're basically ahead of the curve and ahead of the game. And I think that's going to be very uh, exciting for those people who take advantage of this opportunity. Mm -hmm.